A and B together and I oh. This is A. This is, has the malonic acid, sulfuric acid in it, uh, in the KiO3. And this has, as you can see, starch. Right? Oh, now you've got your video. Fantastic. <laughs> here's, the, here's the starch part. And the starch yes. indicates what again? The collision Third. of yeah. the reaction. Yeah. Okay. And this is the peroxide, the one that will bleach everything. This is represented. So as long as it's stirred, it should turn. I wish it was deeper blue, though, and I'll have to play with it a bit. Chemicals Put food coloring. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wreck it. Well, it's actually a little bit more blue. I think the other one's a bit paler right at the beginning. But, like, it got darker and darker as it went on. Oh, yeah. Just you can see the differentiation in the colors, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, you can see that it oscillates, right? So that some of the pressure, so what's happening now we've done this, the reactants went to, pro they go to products, right? So the I negative ion, if you think about it, is yellow. And it goes, and that amber color, it goes to I2, which you know, and I mean, it's like when you get a cut and you put iodine on it, it comes in a little brown bottle and the stuff on it's kind of like browny amber color. And you put it on your cut and in the, exp in the oh, presence of air, it starts, turns blue. Or if you put it on a potato, you ever done that in elementary school where you put the iodine on a potato and you're like, wow, it turns blue. Because potatoes are starchy. Starch. Okay, so it's pressured over to the uh, product side. Well, then there's a critical mass of products, products, too many products, because there's actually seven reactions all making products, and then the reactions are finally like, maybe we need to push back and go back to reactants. So this is, oscillations happen in a lot of reactions, but this is the most visible one in chemistry, where you can actually see the, the pressures. Now you can see the gas that's coming off of it, okay? It's all bubbling up on the sides. I don't know if you can see that. That's the oxygen gas that's coming off. It's neat that we have the stuff, though. I'm really happy with it. Is it just one oxygen coming in? Uh, and carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide. Yeah. And probably, uh, like, the occasional water molecule maybe as well. But the, in the, in the for all seven reactions, there's nothing that's being uh, released that's, that's dangerous or anything. Or else I would have done it under the, the fume. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. But that's, yeah, those are the only gases that are coming out. If it smells a bit, it's not too bad. Um, iodine and starch doesn't smell very good. <laughs> so what yeah, this is is potassium iodate. Remember iodate? We used it in the oscillating, yeah. or in the not oscillating clock, the iodine clock, KiO3. What happens is the KiO3 goes to I negative, goes to I2. So then it's like you can kind of smell it now. Yeah, There's <laughs> sulfuric acid in there, not very pretty smelling. I is not very pretty smelling. What else? Malonic acid and organic acid. Isn't there? <laughs> isn't potassium not pretty smelling? Potassium's not too bad to mess with, but yeah. Or yeah, sulfur. Sulfur's really bad. A little bit of the sulfur, but there's no sulfur dioxides or anything. I'm stick your head, so when we stick my head in, breathe <laughs> So, is it going to be a, like a, a YouTube video or?